Seeking belonging is acceptance without exception. You are here as you are. You're understood and you feel included. Inclusion to me is what belonging means. How old was I when I became aware of my race? I say I was quite young, maybe around about six or seven. And you go out, you go to school, you, you meet people, and you're different to everybody else. I probably became aware of my race in my later years. I remember being chased during recess because they'd never seen a brown person before. Has my mental health ever been affected by racism? Racism is not something that I've ever had to face. I would like to say no, but sometimes it does, it happens. I have faced things that I didn't think I deserved. Have I ever been racially abused after a game or match? I have not. No. Yeah, I've uh, been called quite a few words in the heat of the moment. Can I be sure my name won't stop me from getting a job interview? Yes. I think with my name, certainly it's, it's different enough to warrant people to think twice. Do I see people who look like me in positions of power or authority? Um, well, yes, I do. I do see people who look like me in terms of race. I think there are only people who look like me in positions of power and authority. I've surrounded myself with some strong Aboriginal women that actually have some power in the community. However, when I step out of my community, I don't see it. If I'm stopped by police, can I be sure it's not because of my race? Uh, yes. I think my gut instinct is to say it's not because of my race. Your first thought is, is it because of the colour of my skin or my race? Can I spend time on social media without fear of being racially abused? No, I don't think so. I really need to guard myself. Do I fear being stopped more frequently by airport security because of my race? Uh, no. Yes. Can I be sure my child won't experience racism at school? No, I can't. I feel like... Like you're different. Maybe they mend well. I can't believe I don't feel safe in my home. I was not worthy. Go back to your countries, close the border. It isn't that the world is meant to be all of us together, equally. No matter how challenging the conversation, we need to talk about racism and the causes of inequality. By taking a stand against racism, we can build a fair and equal society for all.